we are in the lower ninth ward. Right over there is where the barge burst through the levee. This was all under about 13 feet of water for three weeks. I didn't have money for college, and my parents were pushing me to go into the army. I did not really want to do that, and I still wanted to make a difference and do something above and beyond just going to school, getting my job, and living a life producing and consuming. Um, so I came down here with the hope of being able to find um, answers to what I wanted to do with myself. And there's a very self-righteous idea of help. You need help and you are, it can be romanticized, it can be objectified. People you are helping can be objectified. Earlier I, I thought that people deserve better. They deserve better than to come back to the Lower Ninth Ward. But it's their home and who am I to say what I think they deserve versus what they want. It's made me realize that the pursuit of wealth and advancement for me isn't necessarily the most important thing. Rather, I would say the pursuit of um, equality for everyone is more important. We go around and we mow people's lawns for them because if your lawn is 18 inches or higher, the city can, or maybe it's the state, can sue. They can charge you $300 a day, maximum, until it's cut, or you can get like six months of jail time. So we're just cutting people's lawns for them so they don't get in trouble. I'm really glad that we made this stop down here because New Orleans is a place that has always fascinated me and it's always been, you know, one. it's, it's always talked about as one of those little magical places in our country where it has such a rich culture and there's uh, so many, you know, diverse uh, peoples here and the culture of food and music and, you know, I, when, when Katrina hit it was such a disaster and it was such a, a failing for so much federal relief that uh, I, I couldn't rightfully come down here and enjoy myself knowing that I had, you know, done nothing uh, and be able to really enjoy my time